Right, next is the big end. I did spend a lot of time remachining this. This was one of the, the poorer parts of the engine. But seeing that, the connecting rod is really nice. I've decided not to give it a high polish job on the lathe. I've just knocked the, the rust off with a wire brush on the grinder. And it's got a nice natural patina about it. Right, so I've got a, a mark on the front ear which comes to the front of the engine. So it goes on that way. These are all numbered as well. And this was bored out in the lathe to be a, a really good fit on the crankshaft. And this goes that way. Plenty of oil. Even these old Whitworth nuts have got a nice shape to them. The proportions are are really good. Nothing much the matter with that really is there. There is two holes and I have a split pin so I'm going to put split pins in straight away. Well if I had some split pins the right side I'd put them in. But I think I might be able to find a couple of split pins at work. Anyway that's nice and free and smooth running. I've got a nice straightforward machining job to do for a change. This is uh, a steel bush uh, from your brother-in-law. It's a space off for a, a motorcycle wheel. This is going to be used as some sort of cable winch. I've got a bit of metal steel bar there that'll, that'll do the job. All the sizes are there that I need except the diameter of that one. That's the one you wasn't able to measure. That's that diameter there. It's actually got splines in it, but he just wants something to be a, a reasonable fit in there. you can't get much in possibly get a caliper in but it's, it's difficult with the with the splines in there so what I'm going to do what I've done I've found a piece of bar that nearly goes in that will be a, a press in fit so I'm machine to his hair off there just to make it a nice slip in fit measure that and then we'll use that as a gauge to make the pin with Before I machine the part, I need to go into the back of here and change these chain wheels around. At the minute it's got a compound set up uh, for cutting a, an imperial thread, which is great for running nice and slow, but when you're running them high speed for power feed, you can imagine they make quite a bit of noise. So we'll take this off and put a, a simple gear set up on it. Keys in these shafts, and make sure the keys don't, don't drop out, or you'll never ever find the bastard things again. The 
the standard gear training here for metric is a 25 on top driving 100 driving an 80 with those gears in and the gearbox you can basically cut any metric thread that you need Quite clever the way it works. Right, that's some set up. There's a little bit of clearance between each each gear. I normally use motorcycle chain oil in there, but I haven't got any at the minute, so I'm just going to put some steam oil in, which is quite a heavy, very sticky type of oil. Nice, messy, sticky, lovely, gooey mess. Right, I just want to take a nice blade cut off this. Just to nice work that should fit inside the hole now and get the the size off that yeah, that's a decent fit in there, that's just what he needs this chuck's not the most accurate this one, it's all going to be machined down and it won't be taken out of the chuck the stage door chuck will be more than adequate for the job first thing I'll do is centre drill it well I'll be facing the end then centre drill it Touch the tool off and then use the deer out and measure out or the measure along the 43 mil which is there and then just put a little mark on it so we'll know there's a lot to come off this thing we'll skew things up and take some decent cuts of it. That's working nicely, it's great and it checks quite well. Or it was, but I've pulled up. I feel like those nasty spinning backs are horrible, dangerous. Horrible. What you do and do is touch them with your hands and I'll we'll probably do is speed the feed up and see if that'll break the break the chips better. Right, that's the same depth of cut, same speed but a different feed rate and that's still no good. That's 
just up here again. That looks better. Right there, it's reacting quite nicely. Right, it's getting the outer side now, so I'll change the tool. Slow the feed rate down, and we'll go for a, a finished size. Next this time that he has got to go down to 34, 38, so that's 4 mil to come off, 2 mil aside. Touch the tool off. And put a 1 mil foot on. Another one minute cut. See, we get a much better finish when you work when you work far by tool and hard. Right, this should be the final cut. Just before I part it off, I'm going to put a nice little stamp on the these two edges. Make sure that the, the part of the tool is nice and square to the jaw, which it is. The washer needs to be 6mm thick, then in 6mm. That's it, part it off there. I'm just going to lock the carriage off before I do part it off. Still amazing me how well that parting tool is lasting. I've actually got all the pieces now for the, the face mill, the bank will sent us out, so I'm gonna get a review done on that as well.
Mm. This is part done. Once again, it's just time to say a massive thanks for all the help and support I've had and for all the well wishes that keep on coming in. Incidentally, I'd like to say a massive thanks to all the, the staff at the Freeman Hospital in the RVI Hospital. Uh, my dad spent a few years in hospital a couple of weeks ago and the way he was looked after was fantastic. Uh, everybody was really nice. They couldn't do enough for him. Um, like you said, it was a bit late being in a hotel. Anyways, who am now? He's doing all right. Uh, things are looking good. Once again, thanks for watching.